Carry on, shall we? Yes. yes. Scores on the draws at the moment. Vija is on 15, but he's got plans in the works, I think. He's, he's, got, he's, he's also got, got some cards cards in in yeah. yeah, Yeah, a lot of cards and a long route. Mm. Uh, wheels next... within wheels. <laughs> True. Uh, next is me with 17. Although, again, I'm starting to build my route up. Uh, next up is Shadow Fox, who, with one route complete, is on 23. Yes. The uh, Rand of Genies uh, on the other hand, hand. No route complete is uh, on twenty is a one point ahead on twenty four, but he hasn't completed any of his routes yet. So. No. Makes me wonder Scary. where he's heading. Gary. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, where is his route? I mean his route I'm guessing. It goes starts from Edinburgh. Edinburgh. <laughs> and it's going and then... down it's, it's gone all the way down to Rome so to Rome so far. So Yeah. He's running he's running out of places on the board to go. <laughs> yeah. No, he's not. <laughs> Well, Not with the locomotives he's collected, but it, he's up first, so let's see what he does. He finishes a route. Uh, claims 100 uh, points. I play all my cards, and I claim all the routes. <laughs> uh, no, it's going to be a fairly uh, fairly low round. I'm just going to draw two from the deck. Ooh. Mystery. Okay. On the other hand, I am building a route. One, okay. two... Three yellow. Three yellows. Where are you to going? To go from oh. Amsterdam to Essen, I think. Yeah, Essen. That's yeah. Four points. Yay. And that is my turn. Hmm. Yeah, I think Vija was the one that introduced me to this game originally. <laughs> All right, I'm blind. Oh, no, wait. I will. You can hear oh. the cogs turning. <laughs> I will take the orange, and then what gets flipped? A red. Red. A red. I will take a blind. Okay. Actually, very useful. He drew a locomotive. <laughs> Me. A so red gets replaced with a green, and the other red gets replaced with an orange. You get two reds for a green and orange on the board. Is the genius? Drawing two from the from the deck. Oh, nothing on the table. Bates his need. More trains. More trains. Two he's blues. Down some blues. Where is where is that? Or Essen to Berlin. Oh, to two Berlin. Points. Yes. Need to get to the other side of uh, Germany or Deutschland. All right. In which case. I'm going to take an orange. And what gets drawn? Replace green. green. I'm going to draw blind. Okay. I'll draw one blind. I will draw a second blind. Miss Genius. One blind. And I'll take that black. Okay. And that is replaced by 
Green. green. We've greens and blues on the board so far. And with that, I shall draw blind, I think. One, <laughs> no one wants any two. greens or blues. <laughs> no. I will also draw blind. One, two. Okay. I could be Vince to take a blue, I think. In that case, then, I'll take two blues. Well, not anymore, then. <laughs> oh, blue. Blue. Maybe, maybe. There's a blue to replace the blue and an orange. And an orange. Uh, an I'll orange. take two greens. Oh, you missed one. <laughs> oh. I got one. Thank you. And that this is replaced by green. a green and a Ooh. yellow. Oh, yes, it's my turn. <laughs> I will take that yellow. Oh, yeah. And that is replaced by an orange. An orange. And so I will just draw what blind. I will take an orange. And I will take an orange. What was that put on the board? A loco uh, loco 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 locomotive. I'll take that loco. That's replaced with a uh, pink. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a green and a pink, actually. And that gets replaced with a locomotive and a green. Uh, for which I'm going to steal the locomotive. Hmm. Replaced with a replaced locomotive. For locomotive. <laughs> well, very good at, okay. They're very good at replacing <laughs> these when they're stolen. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. You you wait all game for a locomotive and three come along at once. <laughs> Feature. Uh... Raw. Ouch. Not helpful. Got a fox. I... We'll draw two from the blind. Mm-hmm, okay. Okay. What a blind drawing. Me now? Yep. Yep. Time to build. I play one white carriage and one locomotive. Go from Roma to Brindisi. Birin... Brindisi? Brindisi? Yeah. I, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm Brindisi. just going to say yes. Brindisi. Yes. Sure. We apologise for our uncultured. Yes. 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 Very much so. I'm going to take that black for one. That's two points for me. Hey. Yes. What does that get replaced by? A red. Red. That's uh, not useful. So I'm going to draw blind. The new colour on the board, at least. <laughs> it's been a while. I mean, that's true. I'm going to take a locomotive. Nice. That's replaced with a white. I'm going to take that red. Okay. Red's replaced with an orange. And we'll take that orange as well, because why not? Okay. We now white. have another white. Another white. Okay. Where were you earlier, whites? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Right. Uh, I'm going to play another train. Mm -hmm. One red. Red. Two red. Three red. And a, a loco. You go into Athena. Mm -hmm. To go to Athens. Yeah. Or four train, which is uh, seven points, if someone can add that onto the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still hasn't completed a route, which is no. It's not, this is his big route. Yeah. I can only assume. Uh, oh yeah. You say that. Oh, you have now completed a route. The route Edinburgh to Athens. Twenty-one. Twenty-one well done. points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Actually, he's 21, isn't he? What's he on right now? He's yeah. on 33. 33, so he'll be on 54. 54, yeah. <laughs> Like I'm counting and I'm like, hang on, 20, that's easy math. That's yeah, the on. easiest way. Right, that's the end of your turn, right? Uh, that is the end of my turn, yes. I'm stealing both whites. Okay. Replace you an orange and a black. I will take the orange. And it's replaced with yellow. I will blind draw. I'm going to put down this solitary white to bind to Budapest. The lump there. So that's one point, not much. Yep. But... Hey, it's every it's... bit helps. The path needed to be made. So Indeed. Indeed. My turn? Yep. yep. Okay, you forced my hand there, Shadow Fox. One pink, two pink, and a locomotive. You're going straight Budapest down. Budapest to Sarajevo. Yeah, that's Four fine. Points, four points, please. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four. We're gonna, he's he's going to reach the end of the ball. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It just circles around. But it only goes to 80. <laughs> to 100. So I think the normal board does actually go up to 100. It does go up to 100, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to steal this yellow. Yep. Which is replaced by... A black. A black. I'm actually going to just take that black. Fair enough. And that is replaced by... A white. A white. I'm taking that white. <laughs> yep. And that's replaced with a locomotive. I will draw blind. Fair enough. You, say, you know what? It's fine you took that route from Vine to Savahero because I want the one from Vine to... from Budapest to Bucharesti. Uh, Bucharest. Bucharest. That's one. Three... Four reds. Four so reds. It's, but it's, it's a tunnel, it's though, a so... Tunnel. First one is a locomotive. Ooh, so a locomotive, so you need another one. One red. Blue, that's blue, blue you're safe. safe. Black, Black is safe. safe. So that's... Uh, seven, seven points. points. Two, six, seven. Three. But it's not just seven. Oh, you completed a route. 
Just a quick sanity check. You can place locomotives if you're doing a tunnel. You can place locomotives yes. to yes. Uh, yes. Yes. counteract. Yeah. Okay. That's eight for Berlin to Bucharest. What was that? 31, yeah. so that's 39. Hey! Hey! Yeah. So that's two of your tickets complete, and they're both the short tickets. They are the mm. short ones, and I'm hoping <laughs> to link some more stuff up, shall we say. <laughs> yes. Time for another round? Before we get into talks? Uh, I think we've got enough for another couple. Yeah. Okay. Another couple? Yeah. yeah. Another couple. Uh, I'm grabbing the locomotive then. Go for it. Let's replace with a black carriage. I am... Gonna draw blind first. That was not helpful. <laughs> and then I'm gonna draw black. Right. Okay, it's I can't keep doing this. One. <laughs> he's he's gonna start facing. <laughs> yeah. No, nope, not that one. <laughs> Three, four, five. five. Oh, six, I, yeah. six, seven, eight. Damn it, oh, um, Stockholm. Oh, I, I am, I am, I am risking this. This is Stockholm. Uh, to this is Petrograd, Stockholm to Petrograd, which so, is uh, tunnel, which is the only eight uh, space on the board. Yeah, now, unfortunately, there's not enough cards in the deck, so we're going to have to shuffle that one. <laughs> right. So, we've got two cards out ready. Yeah. And then a third card. Drum roll, please. Right. The first card is. First card is. Red. Oh, red. Safe. Safe. Is it red? Red? red. Safe. Pink. Pink. Safe. Pink. Pink. Safe. Safe. I've done it. God damn oh. you. <laughs> that is That's 21. Points. Dang. Twenty-one points to Vija. So, so hang on. Thirty-five, You're... thirty-six. Oh. Have I blocked you again? Yes. <laughs> Where the point? I I now don't think I can win this. No, oh, no. At all. Oh no. <laughs> I was going to do that next turn. <laughs> oh, no. Were you? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Why do you think I've been collecting so many blacks? You've got to do a long... You've got to do some kind of other why, long card Why now. do you yeah. think I've been just hoarding cards forever? <laughs> yeah. Like that, 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 that is the riskiest route to take. Oh, God, And yes. if you lose that, yeah. You've well, lost the thing so is, many resources. So I, I have hmm. enough wild cards to be able to back to me up on that one. Needed, yeah. Yeah. But it was a case of I needed to make sure I had the backups. Yeah. Yeah. But oh well. That 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 has been I, my I, I, I've been at the tipping point for a while and I've been grabbing as soon as the oranges turned up and it's like I can't yeah. keep doing this. I need to put cards out. I can't even tell how much is in my hand anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Shadow Fox. <laughs> Shadow Fox. It is, it's my turn, isn't it? Um let's see. We're still a way off end game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah we, mm. we, everyone's got over twenty carriages, so we are plenty to go. Yeah. Uh, plenty to work with. Well, first off, I'll take the blue from the board, and that's replaced with a uh, loco. So in that case, we're going to blind that one. Blind draw. Okay. Okay. My turn. Or oh, are we stopping? No, I keep going. No, one more round. One more round. One more round. In which case, uh, one green, two green. Three green. green. Four green. Four green. Uh, Athens to Sarajevo for yes, seven you've, points. You've got a big... Nice. That's a big old route. Now. It's uh, mm. all the way from Edinburgh down to Athens and back up to Budapest so far. Yeah, he's, still, he's it's long. It's technically one length. route. Yeah. Yeah. So how much is that? That's a... That's four, seven. So that's another seven. You're all the way up here. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's the only one on that side of the board. Seven. I, I don't think he's beatable at this point in time, almost. I mean, you uh, never know. You never know. Just... Uh, Vija hasn't claimed his, his big ticket yet. 
No, I have not. Not <laughs> long yet. Right, well, I don't we know. have to take this yellow. So if you've got, like, you got enough, you enough white to go from Moscow to Petrum, <laughs> you could just I'm say no. Ju- I'm actually going to draw the last one blind. Ugh. Okay, well, I've got plenty of backups at least. One, two, three, four. Oh. Petrograph to... Uh, to Moscow. Yeah, I yeah, figured yeah. that one. That Seven was the... points. Now on 43. You say that, I think his big ticket's coming out soon. Was this still uh, not done? Not done yet. I'm actually Ooh. kind of surprised it's not done yet. Hmm. <laughs> Firefox. Yes. Um... We are blind drawing one, blind drawing two. Okay, go. Another round, or should we stop here? Well, stop I would like here. another round. <laughs> I'm sure you would, but we'll, we'll, we'll hold off. We'll hold we'll off. To kill the suspense. We'll, we'll, we'll hold off for the minute, yes. It's, oh, it's a cliffhanger, it's a cliffhanger oh, to come back oh, next time. Oh, I'm, not, I'm on a roll, <laughs> man. The amount of cards you've got, I'm not surprised. Mm. Yeah, I suppose, I'll, I suppose I'll it, go next then. Yeah, go <laughs> around yeah. that table. So, um, well, let's continue on the... well. Obviously, I've been playing a lot of 14, but we've already had that discussion. So let's go on the one we started uh, with you, Shadow Fox, Sendless Zone Zero. Yes. So this is a new free-to-play game by the Hoyaverse team. You know, Genshin say... and Star Rail Impact, something or another. Yeah, very much re- maintains their anime aesthetic. Yep. Um, it's basically an action uh, oh. fighting game, basically. Um, Char- character action, I think they... Um, they call yeah, them. you you essentially have combat in small arenas. You can control up to three characters, which you switch between. Uh, they have a basic attack, a special attack, which gets charged over time, and a ultimate that gets charged even more over time. Yeah, basically. Um, you start the game with three characters. You start with I don't remember any of their names. Uh, Andy, you start with Billy and Nicole. Are yes. the, that's the that's the, the team, the Cunning Hairs team. Yes. Um, Ambi is basically your stoic girl. Melee, uh, she's a stun fighter, I think. Yes, she's a stun fighter. So, yeah, so there's different combat. So, each, there's, 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 yeah. there's, so there's, there's elements and classes. So, Ambi is stun and electric. Stun and electric, yep. Um, who's the guy again? Uh, Billy, the not Billy. Dante guy. Not he's yeah. not he's not Dante. He's not a uh, Vash. He's Billy. Ah, so so he's a DMC Dante as opposed to Devil May Cry Dante. Well, he's a robot for one, for yeah. the most part. Um, but so yeah, DMC he's... Dante then. <laughs> he's dual gun wielding, but he's an attack class, right? Yeah. So he's a physical yeah. and attack class. And Nicole is support. 
class. Support and ether, yes. Yeah. Um, so those are the three you start off with. You kind of have to play as them for the first few missions anyway. Yeah, get, get, um, well, I tell you how to play the game. Yeah, and then you also get to pick your operator, who is one of two characters you get a choice between male or female. It, but I mean, you essentially that... play as both of them as your yeah. kind of main characters. So it, it, um, it's basically, it mean, that, that choice means absolutely nothing other than who yeah. says what voice line. And, you know, what avatar you have for the game, essentially. Yeah. Um. So yeah, essentially the way it works is you go into these things called hollows, you have kind of a map you follow around, and certain blocks have, a, you know, attacks in them, certain them have treasure in them, certain them have your objectives in them. It's a it's a decent system, to be honest. So, and... so yeah, so like, yeah, like the the exploration part is done via like TV screens on a grid based system. Yeah, it's not a bad, you know, it's visually quite nice. And, but I think this is the big thing is visually it's very very good. Hmm. It, I it's say, not style, but substance. I say yeah. So, yeah. like the the thing about the Poyo games is that they are limited by the fact that they're mobile games. Essentially, yeah. at the base, the, these are made to be playable on mobile. Yeah, and it's not a this... gacha game very heavily. Yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah. So like, as the the game is absolutely fun if simple and very much involved around grinding. Yeah, and obviously the mechanics, <laughs> the, yeah. the 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 uh, money. Now, and I've been playing on the PS5 version, and you know it's fun. They, and you know they've used some of the PS5 features, great. But you know I'm only I've only just got out the prologue, and already it's like ah yes, you need to pay us for more draws because you've not drawn that many new things. It's like okay, well they give you one char- extra character for free, at least on PlayStation, which is a made with a saw blade on the end of a stick basically <laughs> yeah a corin i think her name was sounds familiar right. um now i got quite lucky in my draws i got they they give you a certain amount of stuff to kind of get you going yeah. um i've had two new characters out of the draw an a rank and an s rank the a rank is some guy with a drill like attached to his forearm which Anton, i have yep. yet to play yeah i have yet he's to a, play him he's an electric attacker i believe uh, I think he's a stunner, but I don't think he does electric oh. damage. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he's an electric stunner, I think. Oh, he is electric. I, yes. I don't know. I said I haven't played him yet. But the no, other yeah. one, I've, the S rank I locked is a another part of the maid group, Or although he's a butler, and he's it, basically a wolf butler. You're a bastard, is what you are. Oh, what? You've been wanting <laughs> to get that one? Of course I've been wanting to get the, the, the wolf guy. He, he, he was my first draw. <laughs> and that... he was not what I was aiming for, either. <laughs> No, it's, it's kind of annoying because as, as characters go, like you can do some tutorials to try out the characters, and he's at and like, it, like obviously you know certain rank characters, the S rank characters are the better characters to get. Yeah, I've got an A rank ice character who is fun and good, but isn't as is that good. The only? Uh, yeah, the only girl. It's so yeah. I've I've tried her as part of a demo thing, but yeah, but this is the thing: is it's all gacha based, and it's like. <sighs> do I really want to be gathering? Now, to be fair, the currency seems generous enough at the moment, um, but I don't know how much I want to grind this. It, no, I, it's I'm... not holding my interest enough, but I'm probably going to give it a few extra days, give it a go, but I'm not going to spend masses of times on it. But you know what? It's, I, you know, if, if I was, if he gave it to me and said, you need to play this for a few days, I wouldn't complain. It's fun enough. <laughs> It, it's yes, yeah, so it's fun if simple. Like the, the thing I have about like the um, the the economy is that as with as it's a gacha game, there's about twenty economies and items and things going on. It's like you need. Yeah. So I, I'm. Was it, there's like polychrome and monochrome. Monochrome mm-hmm. is transferred for real money and can only be used yeah. to buy certain things. But then other things just cost real money anyway. So I don't know why you've got. It's just again that obfuscation of how much you're spending. Yeah, um, that, Denny, that is Denny's, Denny's is your trash currency, and then drawers. You've got like master tapes, regular yeah. tapes, and you'll get uh, bangaboo tapes or whatever they are. Yeah, bangaboo. Yeah, Bang- Wait, who who are the cute little mascot characters? Yeah, no. It, yeah. I say, I'm honestly, I'm in Act Chapter Two. I'm still unlocking things. I I think like the first three yeah. chapters are basically more blow than that, tutorials. First five, first five chapters, supposedly. But oh, also, really? a lot of that time, they don't ask you to spend the 
um like currency for the batteries basically for yeah. you know playtime which is that's not a bad thing i yeah, I, mean, I like, like it d- when the game is like storyline wise play as much as you want when you're starting to do like proper grinding that's when we're going to start charging you and it's that, yeah, that's it's, fine i think that's it's like it's like done at like this place like the hia um whatever it's like you go there and you can that's what your battery goes into but you can choose like i want to unlock i want to get either money or items to upgrade my w engines or my characters it's like it is the problem with the the gacha mechanic where it's like right i know what characters i would like to play with but in order to progress the story i need characters to be this level do i spend resources on the characters i have at the moment to progress the story and get get more things to level up and then or do I save up and try and get this character, even though I've only got like there is like you know, once you once you've done this many searches or pulls as they're called, you can your gar- you can select a character to get from this selection. But it's like three hundred, yeah. and I'm at like ninety pulls, so it's like I would need yeah. to somehow. So, and there's a similar mechanic on a mobile game that I I wouldn't say I play often enough, but. I play it enough when I'm on the train called um, Azure Lane, where oh, yeah. after 300 pulls, you're guaranteed the highest rarity of pull, and you can pick the one you want. But you have yeah. to go through those 300 pulls, and that's only if you don't get one in those 300 pulls. If you get one in that meantime, it just resets. So it's like, yeah. But no, I, I, Zenless Zone Zero has been okay it, so far. It, it, it's a, it, that's a little bit more generous. I, it's like, it'll tell you, like, you know, every X you'll get a guaranteed A, every Y you'll get a guaranteed yeah. S. But what that is, like, it can be an S rank engine or an S rank character or an A rank engine or an A rank character. But yeah. there's always a chance, there's always a chance to get them below that. And even if you get them, then it doesn't reset your, it doesn't like, yeah cancel out that guaranteed one that one is always going to be there and the, per- yeah, and the they're, one they're slightly select. different systems it, but yeah it's, it's... I, I, they, I i imagine that they with, with genshin and everything they have fine-tuned the exact amount of oh god yeah how far someone is willing to go but what i will say is so far as what i've played at least one of the things that i will give it is that the starting three characters you have are enough to get you through the game and event like the chainsaw made Gave, we got for free. I I didn't pull for her. No, I yeah. don't know if that was the same for you. No, no and, I got it. For, I got it for free. I think that's like a early adopters. Yeah, and the only one I think you get after chapter two. Yeah, although I managed to pull her before then, which means I'll yeah. be able to unlock. Oh, if you pull multiple characters, you then get to use that to boost Upgrading. their abilities. Yeah. Um, but you know, the the thing for me is, if it's a gadget game that I can play and enjoy where it's not blocking me because I don't have something. That's not bad. The problem is I'm going to measure everything against Final Fantasy Record Keeper, which I think had the best balance I've ever seen in a gacha game. Unfortunately, Mm. that also meant it didn't succeed as well as it needed Uh, to after nine years. But nine Uh, years is a good run. (laughs) Oh, easy. Yeah, it definitely hit seven years that I recall, because I've got all of the, the lucky 77 draws. Yeah. I think I mean he's still technically going in Japan, but yeah. so yeah, Z- Zenless Zone Zero. I need to give it a little bit more time. I think at the yeah. moment it's technically my contender for top games of the year because it's one of the only new games I've played this year. <laughs> yeah, my 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 games of the year are quite um, either free or low um, low cost indie games so far. Yeah, but, yeah, but I, mean, I have played indie games are pretty good at the minute. There I mean, honestly. Really big ones at the minute i mean absolutely so yeah. i mean who trusts triple a at the moment uh, but, um... yes indeed who trusts triple a hides all hides the atlas games <laughs> hides the square <laughs> enix games um, um but yeah. yes
have played one other free to play game, which I'm going to compare Zoneless, Zenless Zone Zero to. Yep. Um, which we have discussed previously, Shadow Fox. Um, oh, yeah. And it was one. We haven't discussed it on here. We discussed it on one of our side shows, I think. But it's uh, technically it was released this year, but people did play it last year before they shut it down after early access. Oh, I think I know. Warner Would Brothers you... Multiverses. Yes, the fighty. Ah. So, um, this is the other end of free to play. There is no gacha in this game. Um, instead, it's basically a constant advertisement for buy this or you can't get it. And mm. oh dear lord, was it bad? So oh. I, I kind of wanted to give it a chance. So I got in fairly close to release. wasn't day of release. And again, I did this on the PlayStation, and it's like, oh, okay, there's this Joker event. Cool. Uh, if you play every day, you get points. You can unlock Wonder Woman and her out and an outfit for her. Okay, sounds cool. So. Um, but thankfully, Wonder Woman was in. What, the, you only unlock one character at the start, which is Shaggy. Everyone else is locked. Who else do you need? He's the best. Uh, well, <laughs> this is the problem because certain. So they have offline modes as well as the online 2v2 mode. And in the offline mode, you have to have certain types of characters to play certain missions. So, for instance, uh, I think Shaggy is a bruiser. You have tanks, you have mages. Um, and the playstyle I preferred was tank. So the first tank, the one thing they do do is you get three or four characters that rotate around that you can also play, but they're not permanently unlocked. And my first starting set was like Wonder Woman and Finn. Um, and I really liked Wonder Woman's playstyle. So I actually, with the currency I built up in game, made her my first permanent purchase. Because I thought, I still want the outfit. If I don't manage to get it, it's cool. So I played every day for about a week, except for one day where I couldn't because I was away from home. Um, it was uh, UKGE, which obviously hey. you were there for Shadow yes. Fox. Um, <laughs> and so I missed one day. By missing that one day, I missed the ability to get that Wonder Woman outfit by that one day where you had to have done a mission, all every single mission every day just to unlock it. And I missed it by a couple of hours because it reset at I think it was 4 p.m. UK time for some reason. That's a very bizarre time. But here's the thing. It didn't tell me that. It told me it ran out on the day. It didn't tell me when on the day, just at some point during the day. Uh. So I didn't know. I thought I'd have the evening to do it. Nope. So, yeah, that slightly pissed me off. And then there was stuff like, oh, yes, next one rolls around. You have to have Jason Voorhees unlocked to do some of the daily missions. Okay, well, how do you unlock Jason Voorhees? You have to buy the season pass. There is no other way to unlock him. I did see, I, I saw like on the subreddit that, that was one of the biggest problems. It was like, I can't do this challenge. Yeah, because you I... have to buy the season pass. And it's just like, why do you want me to play this? So, yeah, we want you to play this. But you, we also want you to pay for everything. Yeah, like, And in I... the end, it just got to the point where it's like, I don't want to play anymore. Yeah, like the whole, the whole character rotation thing reminds me of uh, League of Legends in that there's always X amount of characters that are free to, yeah. to play. But the thing is, like, the daily challenges are the same for everyone. Surely you make sure that in your rotation of characters, you should be able to do the daily challenge. One of the daily challenges I had was like, oh, you need a mage. Well, I don't have any mages in my weekly rotation. Well, Sonic, you can't do the daily challenges. And because you can't do the daily challenges, you can't complete uh, enough to be able to get the final rewards. Yeah, like I feel like it, if, if in a game like this, it should always, like either you should start with um, one of each class, or yeah. one of each class should always be Available. in the rotation. Yeah, and that just put me off. Basically, I mean, unsurprisingly, but it just it got me to the point where I just went, "If you don't want me to play it, why the hell should I play?" So, yeah, I stopped playing, essentially. Um, I, about after a week, I uninstalled it. Oh. And I've been discussing it with a work colleague who he has been trying to play it every day with friends. And he, even he's kind of got to the point where it's like, I have to force... Because one of the daily missions on every single level... Or sorry, one of the mandatory missions on every level is play it in co-op. So you have to get a friend if you want have to complete to, everything. Yeah. You know, I, I, I remember 
buy look, there was I bought a battle pass for Apex Legends once. And the amount that battle pass required me to play basically killed me off Apex for the <laughs> since then. Yeah. And that's like, the thing. Like I don't and... mind gacha as much because for a good gacha game will never block your progress because you've not randomly drawn the thing you need. Mm. And at the moment, Zenless Zone Zero seems to be on. Like I played a bit of Genshin as well. Yeah. Essentially, the things they give you by default, you should be able to finish the game with that. Yeah. And uh, any that. any any story mode mission, it seems, gives you a trial mode of characters at, at yeah. the level required to progress the story. Occasionally, it does, and I, it did give me a um, a rank up thing that I needed to complete to do the thing, and I needed characters at that certain level, but it was within my ability yeah. to uh, it, it make sure you had the stuff to do it yeah and then, like going back to record keeper one of the things i really liked was it went look here are what they did eventually was like here's your here's a list of missions you do and if you complete that you get a like um you get to pull on this specialized draw but what that specialized draw would do is guarantee you something you need for the next set of missions so like one of the first ones they give you is Look, you're guaranteed to get a five star healing relic. Why? Because you are going to need it for the future battles because they're hard. And they uh, never, they always made sure you had what you needed to get to the next level. It's like the, the, tutori the tutorial never ends in the good way that it's always giving you the yeah. thing that you want. Well, it, it's more because the other thing is sometimes they'd give you the choice and it's like, well, which character do you like? You've got to make sure it's a healer because, you know. You need a healing relic, but pick your character you like. And that, because it was one of the reasons that put me off the other big fan fancy one called Brave Exvius, is because they do block your progress unless you have the right characters. But in that one, your characters are all in the gacha. So if you never draw a healer, screw you. You cannot complete the game. And I stopped playing because after four months, I couldn't get past the story because after four months, I'd never drawn a healer. So I couldn't continue the game. Like, come on, guys. With the thought after that long length of time, there'd be something in the algorithm to say, all right, give no, it a yeah. healer. The problem was, I wasn't paying for the game. So, as far as they were concerned, it's like, why should we care? Unless you're a paying player. Okay, at which point it's, it's a off. paywall point. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But anyway, so, yeah, multiverses ain't getting on the list this year, I think. No. I still have to try. I'm still going to. There. So I'll still try it out. It might be that yeah. you know, it might be a case of the hey, under the under the under the payment series, the game itself is worthy of of like the game itself is worth it. Just yeah, the thing is, it doesn't play badly. Yeah, I yeah, it, ju it just it doesn't want me to play it. <laughs> it doesn't want me to play it the way I want to play it. It just yeah. doesn't help.
Anyway, let's get on to something more positive. Let, the last two games are positive. Yeah. This one's not really a game, it's DLC. But um, last year, I think it was last year, my game of the year was Talos Principle 2. At yep. Devolver Digital, they announced, hey, we're producing DLC. When does it come out? Next week. Hey. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So Talos Principle 2 came out with the Road to Elysium, uh, which is technically a three-part DLC, and I kind of assumed they would bring it out in three parts. Nope, all three parts came out at once. <laughs> um, okay. And it's one DLC, technically. Which I'm like, you could have made more money by splitting this into three pieces and just doing like a season pass, but, you know, sure. Um, but yeah, so it's basically split into three. Your first section, you still play as your main character, 1K, and you are trying to rescue someone that kind of got corrupted delving into digital data, and you need to get their fragmented bits back together to restore them in this puzzle world that they've been trapped in. It's more puzzles. These range from, from what I felt, from like medium to hard difficulty. It's, this is all technically post-game. It takes place after the main game, so it makes sense. Um, they were, for the most part, enjoyable. I got very stuck on one, but I feel like that was more me trying to get back into the mindset because I hadn't played for a while. Um, but it's, yeah, I mean, it's more of the base game. It was enjoyable. Um, there's still hidden things for you to look for as well, which was quite nice. Uh, mostly QR codes to look for. But yeah, it was fun. Second part, you actually play as another NPC from the base game called Yakult. Uh, and this play takes place significantly after the base game, where another one of the robots has made an island of puzzles just for fun. <laughs> and you play as Yakult, trying to impress his girlfriend, who loves puzzles, whereas Yakult hates them. Nah. <laughs> so he's going to go, look, look, I know you love puzzles, let me try and do some just to show you I don't hate them that much. You never know, maybe this will change my mind. This one's split into kind of three different sections. You have red, blue, and green. You solve the puzzles there, and they uh, go into a mega puzzle in the center, which takes so long that they have to put save points in the middle of the puzzle. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. it, it's fine. It works well enough, but it is a, yeah, it's a giga puzzle in the middle. But it's fun. Um, what's interesting is you do actually interact with your main player character, 1K, where he's finally got a voice pack for himself. Hey. And he's trying to figure out what his voice is meant to be. So, like, one of the conversations is, do you think I should be saying the word cowabunga when I greet people? It's just a word that I have in my memory bank that supposedly says hello. But I've also got one that says, what's up? And I'm not sure which one really fits me the most. You got the, <laughs> just... you got the Mikey sound pack. <laughs> basically um but it, it's, it's a little bit of a fun one those puzzles kind of go there's some very easy ones and they go all the way up to medium hard i didn't find any of them as hard as the first one but that might just be i gelled better with those puzzles but that was definitely the most enjoyable of them i found um there's also a few bonus puzzles in that one which are quite fun the last dlc actually takes place inside the base game um at some point, one of the characters gets trapped in a digital mindscape, basically. And you play as them. I can't remember the name. Byron, I think, maybe. Um, and, yeah, these are the very hard puzzles, ranging from this is really difficult to screw you, you shouldn't be able to solve this by human methods. Um, yeah, those were nasty. <laughs> but you only have to solve 8 out of 24 of them to technically finish it. But there is a lot of extra lore in there. But the big thing with this one is there's no way to um, assist you in any of the puzzles. There's no clues or anything like that. So, so extreme, yeah, extreme, difficu are. extreme difficulty, but you don't need to do them all. If you just you want don't to... Need to do them. Um, although you can't access like the last six until you've beaten eight of the first lot anyway so yeah but you know it's more talus principle 2 i love talus principle 2 i still say play the first game first but it was an enjoyable dlc does it add much to the story not really does it really matter no i'm there for the puzzles yeah. <laughs> so nice nice
And last one. Obviously, as I mentioned, this year has been very much one for re-releases. And for me, the biggest re-release of this year is probably Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Yep, you were looking Yay. forward to that one for a while. Well, do you remember what position of my game, greatest games Great of all time, all time was? Yeah, I know, I know it appeared in that. So I don't remember the exact was, position, but I know it was there. <laughs> it was number one. It was number one, was it? <laughs> yeah, this is my favourite game of all time. So, So let's get the big one out of the way. Yes, it's 30 frames per second, not 60 frames per second. Who How cares? much does that matter? Well, you say that. Oh, does it actually, it's does it, defi- actually... it definitely is noticeable. Hmm. They have redone a lot of the timings to compensate for it. However, I found it nearly impossible to do any of the multi super multi-hit moves because of the 30 frame per second stuff. Oh. Interesting. So, now that is due to the timing stuff. Okay, there are ways to work around that. Other than that, it was, you know, the 30 frames per second doesn't affect anything too much. I'm absolutely fine with it. And it, it wasn't enough to make me hate the game. Do I think that the 30 frame downgrade is a, enough to knock it down a notch? Yes. Do I think it looks beautiful? Yes. Do I think it's worth the 30 frame, 60 to 30 frame per second cut? No. I would have liked to maybe see them scaled down on the graphics because while it is beautiful, it also kind of doesn't need to be. <laughs> and I feel at sometimes they've over beautified it that kind of takes away from the original's aesthetic. But mm. I still very much enjoyed going through it again. It's simple as. Um, and there's only a few new things. One of them is there's a timing tutor thing, which felt a bit unnecessary. It's fine, but I think what would have helped is the only thing you can fight in there is cardboard cutouts of Goombas. By the way, you have to tattle them to complete the tattle log in the game, which is really stupid. I quite um, like that, actually. It's, it's, nah, it's sort of thinking it's... out of the box. I quite mm-hmm. like that. But here's the thing. It only lets you practice against grounded Goomba enemies. Why can't I replace them with flying enemies to check what moves work against them? Or, you know, enemies that spiked enemies or stuff like that the problem is it doesn't do a very good job for what it's meant to be doing is my problem um other than that the only other real new things they've added is they've added two new super bosses to the game my biggest complaint with these bosses is that they're kind of middle fingers to the tactics that most people use to beat the game one of them demands that you super guard them which Super guarding is very difficult to do at the best of times anyway. And I, it's the only boss I had to restart because I just couldn't get the timing down. And the one time I managed to get the timing down, I made sure I could just one-shot him afterwards. The other boss is an interesting one, but I swear they've stolen it from a wrong Mac. <laughs> this is a simple oh. answer. <laughs> um, and the more annoying thing is it requires you to go through one of the longest areas in the game for a second time. Which is my other minor complaint, but it's a very minor one. Um, the Pit of 100 Trials has one song throughout the entirety of it. And it's one that's reused from elsewhere in the game. And I feel like they could have at least made it so that every 10 floors, you got one of the other areas' music themes. Um, but that's a very minor thing. It's still very much a, if you've never played the original, go play this remake. If you've played the original back when you were a kid and you've not played it since, go play this one. You honestly won't notice the 30 frames, I think. The only reason I notice it is I have played it more regularly, but I've not played it that obsessively. I still give it a 10 out of 10. Mm. But I, if you ask me which I prefer, this version or the GameCube version, I'm going to be torn between the two. It's not an outright upgrade, but it's not a downgrade so it, it the negatives outweigh uh, the negatives and positives about equal each other so <laughs> um but i might exclude it from my game of the year awards just because it would be too obvious <laughs> of your re and your remake obvious, oh, okay. yeah it's already won a greatest game of all time does it really well, need a game of the year as well well we'll see what else comes out the rest of this year <laughs> yeah oh trust me i've already got plenty of remakes that can go in second third or fourth <laughs> position for it so 